So how has the film performed internationally? It's done very well, which I guess I shouldn't complain about. Um, it, I, I'm trying to remember how many territories. It's something like 19 territories, and there's more right. obviously waiting to go. Right, uh, right. And it's done really well here in the UK, hasn't it? That's what surprised me the most. Well, there were two main surprises in the distribution of this film. Number one, someone's buying it. was great. Honestly, the, the first people to take 10 Dead Men, which was a surprise, was uh, the Japanese territory. And they tend to be quite loath to buy essentially no budget action films from the West. It just doesn't tend to happen very often. They actually made, not only were they the first people to take it, they actually gave us the highest amount in terms of an MG, a minimum guarantee for it, which is amazing. And their Japanese DVD cover artwork's incredible. Right. The second surprise oh, I've was... I've seen that artwork. It <laughs> yeah. is incredible, it was, isn't it? And, and as, a, <laughs> as a small... <laughs> there's bullets everywhere, there's scars, there's people's bodies are in different heads, and, and there's a nuclear explosion on the cover. And one of the best things is that I got the title translated, because, of course, it's in the Japanese later, kanji. Uh, mm. we, we were thinking, is it Ten Dead Men? What is it? What is it translated into? And a, a distributor told me that the title in Japan translates as The Machine Gun Punisher. <laughs> And I sort of wish we'd called the film. I was that. about to say, that sounds That's fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, I'd be renting that straight away. Um, but yeah, the second surprise really was that it's taken off in the UK as it has. Right. Um, you know, like every film, we get good reviews and bad reviews. But the number of units that it's done yeah. for this kind of film, yeah. certainly to me, and, and, and now working with, with a sales company as I do you know, as well, it's quite extraordinary how well right. it's done. Well, I, I, I emailed the uh, the distributors just before the show because I know the guys at uh, Brit Films mm. who, who distributed your film, and they just sent me a little email back. I'll just, I'll just read you what they said. They said, this is our best DVD seller and got into HMV, Asda, and the top uh, top 10 DVD chart selling in HMV, Asda, Sainsbury's, Amazon Play. Amazon sold out of their initial order after the very first week, um, and due to the volume of sales, they're now thinking of a Blu-ray um, <laughs> edition, so finally shooting in HD actually will make a difference. Um, but th I think probably the most telling point here is one of the key factors that helped sales so much was the effort put into our promotional campaign by the director and producer. They did all that was asked and more and were happy about doing it. We found a direct correlation between the effort put in by the filmmakers in promoting their film and the volume of sales. It's pretty logical, but we've also worked with filmmakers who were reluctant to lift a finger and the sales suffer. Um, it's quite, you know, I mean, it isn't rocket science, is it? But no. it, it is amazing how many filmmakers say, I'm not a distributor, yeah. and, uh, and the film suffers. But it's sold like umpty trumpty trillion <laughs> DVDs, hasn't it? <laughs> I'd like to get some money for that, actually. <laughs> uh, that's another story. But it should be pointed out, there isn't always a direct correlation between the money that a film makes, just yeah. to say it. And what the filmmaker makes. Absolutely, because sure. I mean, you, you had a unique deal with yeah. you know how it all yeah. all came about, and they they paid a minimum guarantee, didn't they? Yeah. Which means that actually, it doesn't matter how well it does no. in the UK, you don't get any of that really. No, I mean, obviously, you've got to start off by saying seriously, you're so happy about how well it's done. Yeah, which is great, and it's good to get that perception of success from the outside as well. I have to say that, but of course, it is sort of a little bit about that at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. it is about because you want. Yeah, it's a career. Yeah. But having said that, it's fantastic of, about the success. And I have to say, conversely, that um, Brit films were amazing to work with so far because they really do seem to care. There are some distributors that I'll obviously never meet from my film and never hear from them, never get a letter, an email, phone call. You know, what do you think of this artwork? And of course, that's entirely up to them. That's the majority of people. But the fact that Brit films, you know, got us to do interviews, they did TV spots, which I just couldn't believe, I mean, okay, 10 second things, but I was getting calls like two weekends in a row from people saying, I've just seen the 10 Dead Men advert, it's on wrestling. I was like, what? Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously I knew about it, but it was just amazing to get that response. And the care they put together, the package with it, you know, they, they, they printed the, the, the prequel graphic novel that we did for it. Just that enthusiasm, it buoys you and, and, it, and it really makes you feel that someone's taking an interest in you because in the end, that's the important part, it's the relationships that you have. Right. And I know it's probably obvious, but when you're filming, it's for relationships. The post, you know, that can be very difficult, but you have those relationships with the people you're working with. And to have that follow through in, if you like, that final, that final run, getting it out to the public, because there are so many films that are just bunged out there and blatantly the distributors don't right. care when they've got a lot of titles. Right. They don't care. How, how important do you think to the success of your film has been the fact that it's a clear genre it's got a straight title, yeah. clear artwork. It really does 
do what it says on the tin without any, you sure. know, misleading. Well, the, the one thing I'll pick you up on is Ten Dead Men is slightly misleading. It's about it's hundred. Nine, it's right. about hundred people. <laughs> it's about hundred people who get killed just to let people. There is a body count. Right. Um, but no, it, I, I think. And again, now working with a sales company, uh, which it's been very eye-opening. Um, having a clear genre, having the artwork that reflects it, one way or another. Uh, like say the title, one way or another. Um, the, and the right artwork and the right the right print and the right images. I mean, the n- number of times when you see artwork sent to you or, or at a market. And you're looking at the photos on the back of it and going, what are these? What, what is the film? If you have to ask what it is, you're most likely to put it down and never pick it up again. Right. If you have a very clear indication of that... That's a that really genre, salient point, that, isn't it? You, from, just, yeah. from the key art, you've got to go, I know what it is. Yeah. I don't have to ask. You know, and I, with, you know, nuts and bolts, it's a product. It, it really, I mean, for, you know, obviously you want to make that film as well as you can. As a director... I want it to be creative and, and engaging and exciting, and I want the action to be as big as possible. Yeah. still want to get the characters right and the story right and all of that. But in all honesty, when people look at your DVD on a shelf, just like me, because I buy DVDs on shelves, I want to know exactly what I'm buying. Right. The people who come up with, their, with, with certain films you know, sort of behaving, if you like, in an enigmatic way or an enthusiastic way, but not able to tell you what, your, what the film really is. Yeah. It's kind of like, I had someone at can. it's kind of like this, and it's sort of like that, and it's like, thanks. Right. <laughs> it's really simple. It isn't rocket science, like you yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. 